As part of our initial safety score process, we focused on binary rules that are based on good industry practice. This is the initial risk assessment for customers at the beginning of their due diligence process before vetting takes place. These rules inform an absolute minimum standard that vessels must meet. Where these rules are not met, they may result in a score of NA, 0, 1 or 2. When triggered, each rule requires a definitive resolution process, with each scenario needing clear actions which can release the vessel from a low score. Vessels may trigger multiple rules. In this case, the lowest rule, score, must be resolved before the vessel can move to a higher score. For example, if a vessel triggers a safety score 1 rule and a safety score 2 rule, the safety score 1 rule will need to be resolved before a score of 2 can be achieved. In turn, once the safety score 2 rule is resolved, the vessel may move to a score of 3 or higher. Once all of the safety score rules have been resolved, or in the event that no rules were triggered, the vessel's safety score will be calculated within the safety score model, and will result in a score between 3 and 5. The model is made up of 6 subscores, and more than 20 safety considerations that provide indications of the vessel's 5-year historical safety performance. Risk factors are considered at the vessel, DOC, class and flag level. The output is a score between 3 and 5. A vessel that has achieved a 5 out of 5 indicates best practice attention to safety over the last 5 years. After listening to industry feedback, we've removed size, type and builder from our assessment. Age is also not included in the safety score model. However, in the case of dry bulk vessels, only those over 14 years old that have a valid rightship inspection are included for safety score model calculation. The result is a model focused on clear performance indicators that operators can proactively improve. They can see the subscores that need work and benchmark their safety against the best performers. Each safety score rule provides clear risk distinctions for our due diligence customers. Any vessel with a score between 1 and 5 could be recommended after the whole vetting process has been completed. The scores are outlined as follows. Safety score NA. These vessels are out of scope for safety score assessment. There are many reasons for this, but in some cases, these vessels may achieve an acceptable recommendation if the full vetting process is undertaken. Vessel types not included in the safety score include small light pleasure craft such as motorboats, tugs and barges, ferries and row rows, vessels under government service or within the US reserve fleet, pleasure craft such as crews, offshore supply, construction and platform vessels. Vessel types over a certain age do not receive a safety score. So that's LNG, CNG, CO2 and combination gas tankers, which are older than 40 years. Dry bulk vessels, including Lakers, container ships and general cargo ships and row rows greater than 35 years. Chemical tankers, product tankers, LPG tankers, bunkering vessels, FSOs and well stimulation vessels and combination carriers that are older than 30. Other ineligible vessels include vessels no longer in service or still under construction, smaller vessels which are less than a thousand deadweight ton, and any other vessels not currently supported under the safety score. Safety score zero. These vessels have been flagged as sanctioned and therefore cannot receive a positive vetting outcome. The request a vet function is disabled for these vessels. Rightship collects sanctions information from several sources. We check DOC, technical manager, beneficial owner, registered owner, commercial manager, vessel operator and flag on a best endeavors basis. Safety score one. These vessels have serious issues to address. For example, they may be on the ILO list of abandoned seafarers, be on an MOU banned list, face a restriction or detention. They may also have a serious incident inspection or flag issue to resolve. Safety score two. This may include vessels with an excessively high number of PSC deficiencies in the past 24 months, vessels over 14 years without a satisfactory right ship dry bulk inspection, a vessel with an unknown flag, class or DOC for more than three months. Some incidents may also be included. 
You can find the required resolution for each rule in the safety score methodology on our website.